Hey y'all, welcome to the Quilting Compound. I'm Jamie and today I've got the Sew Sampler monthly subscription box opening. Um, so I do know one thing that is in here. I heard it on uh, Sew Becca's live last night, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and see what's in here. So this box is the Rustic Autumn Box, and we have a 20% off coupon for Ulfa products. And inside, it gives you a um, scan code of the Jelly Roll Railway Quilt, and it has a tutorial. Um, I've actually done this quilt. I haven't got it finished. I did it in Christmas fabric. I would do it again because the first one, um, if you've watched my videos, I actually showed it. I did not have a quarter inch foot for my Bernina, so my seam allowances were definitely questionable. So that is what we've got for the coupon code, 20% off Ulfa products. And let's go ahead and see. And if you don't get the sew sampler or you're new to it, each each box contains a description card, um, or I guess or actually booklet with the values and a description of each item in the box. And you can see what the items are. It's supposed to be suppressed. Okay, so first we've got the Ulfa Rotary Blade, 45 millimeter endurance. So that is definitely good. Let's see what the value that they have on uh, Rotary Blade is. $14.98, and that sounds about right. It's been a little bit since I've actually bought blades. Um, so we'll definitely keep that out. And then this is what I heard about. This is the Acorn Easy Press Pen. And I think this is like, um, it's like a starch pen and you put it in your seams and it helps to make a flatter seam. So this is the easy press pens and we'll see what the description says about it. It's the value of $8.98. It says the easy press pen and easy press solution is uh precisely the duo to mix into your sewing. The solution stiffens fabric like starch or starch alternative for precise flat seams. Fill the pen with the solution as directed and then you press um, the nib of the pen to the fabric and it will dry and you will, it says you will have crisp flat seams. So I'll definitely try this out. And then next we've got, let's see what this is. Bits and Bobs Sewing Tray. So on and so on. So this is a tray for, it's a catch-all, looks like. This sweet sewing spire tray is perfect accessory for your sewing table. This notion is exclusively found at the Fat Quarter Shop. Let's see. Let's see. Can we oh, get this open here? Yeah. Let's get her started at least. This is a $12.98 value. So, does it snap? So, I, oh, okay. Well, it does. And I guess you put your stuff in here and just snap it up, or, or do you uh, then pull it out way flat? Yeah. So, it's a little storage container. So, that's neat. That would be good for a uh, retreat, which I've not been on a retreat yet. And so the next thing in our box is Grove. This is a quilt pattern by, I guess it's by the Fat Quarter Shop. Yep. And it's the finished size of 64 and a half by 66 and a half. 
And to finish it, you'll need three and a quarter yard background, one and one eighth yard accent fabric, and three fourths yard binding. So, and backing four and a quarter yards. And so this is the Grove quilt pattern and the fabric that goes with the Grove quilt pattern is Dawn on the Prairie by Fancy That Design House, Stephanie Slowinski. That's just a guess. So that is Stephanie Slowinski and this is a junior jelly roll. So the value of the Junior Jelly Roll is $26.98. And boy, they, they have definitely went up in price, just like everything else. But So this box, I think with shipping and everything, is it $35, $37? And the value of this is $26.98. So... And then the pattern, its value is $9.98 because most patterns are about $10 anymore, 10 or up. So this is actually, you know, just a few cents cheaper than the pat, uh, average priced patterns, I'll say. So this is the Jelly Roll Dawn on the Prairie that will make the grow pattern. Let's see. There's lots and lots of cuts for this because you got the trees and it looks like barns or houses. I, I would say it looks like barns to me, but so that is the Grove pattern. And let's see what else we got. And next we have one and last, but definitely not least, is the Pressed Flowers Quilt Along Block 6 Pattern. And the name of that flower is A-N-E-M-O-N-E. -E. An Emone. Anemone. Never heard of it. And I don't even know how to pronounce it. But I tried. So that is <laughs> that is our flower that we will sew and I will be sewing. And I will have a video to come out on this, hopefully, this week coming up. So we will sew this block six, however you pronounce that. And that's sad, isn't it? And this says, um, it's got quite a few cuts. So, and this is, Fat Quarter Shop is using the Sugarberry collection. I'm using a Ditta Sitar and I do have some Sugarberry and I've got a few other fabrics I'm throwing in there also. So I'll be coming out with this next week with a video on how to sew this pattern. And one more little recap here. We've got our little, um, what is this called? Sewing tray bits and bobs. The little sewing machines, thread, and buttons on there, and it snaps up. I guess you just lay your stuff on here and then snap it up. And this is the inside of it. So that's cute. And then the Easy Press pin, which I... Uh, we're going to leave that out because I'm going to use that. And definitely the uh, Ulfa Blade, the Endurance. I'm going to use that. And then our fabric and our pattern. And I am trying to do all, or I'm trying, I'm trying to do the patterns that come in the box. I'm doing good on the pressed flowers. I did get um, Mikasa. I got it. It's getting ready to go on the long arm and I've got two other ones in the works in line to get done. So that is 
the September 2023 Sew Sampler monthly subscription box. So that's what I'll, I'll have for you today. And if you could, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.